Hey guys, Epic Caleb Bruh here. I've just purchased the Tropo XL12. It is a thousand watt RMS, 2000 watt peak. This is my first time opening it. Gonna review how it looks, the texture of it. Funny thing, I haven't really seen Tropo XL12 reviews. I've only seen like Tropo XL. Oh yeah, this came with all three. So I got the four gauge OFC wire, which is oxygen free copper. Got the sub right here and the amp. Let's go ahead and start with the amp. So it's a monoblock class D, thousand watt RMS. Has some pretty nice texture in here actually, not gonna lie. I cop this for about, I think 159, I'm not sure. Somewhere on their site. Um, but wow, okay, it came double protected. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, let's see. Oh wow, it came with a nice CT sounds. CT sound sticker. Not bad at all. I don't know if you guys can barely see that. But yeah, CT sounds vinyl sticker for your car. It comes with the uh, user manual. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Came with a don't forget to leave us a review. Got a uh, QR code we can scan here. Thank you for your purchase. Join our Facebook group, CT Sounds. And wow, look, another CT Sounds, a longer sticker. So we got here, we got in here, we got some, some screws. Got four screws. Okay, yep, there's four screws. And then we got a uh, Class D level power. Gonna go ahead and pop out the amp. It's pretty heavy, it weighs around like 10 to 15 pounds. Pretty secure, it was secured all around. Came with this at the top. The amp don't look damaged from shipping. So, here it is guys, a CT Sounds Class D amplifier, 1000 watt. You got a power, power, got remote, ins and outs, bridge. Gain, LPF, subsonic, frequency, boost. So we got 1 ohm minimum. Um, all right, yeah, this amp is capable of a 1 ohm load, 1 ohm stable, if you guys are wondering. Got 8 gauge, 12 volts, uh, oh no, 4 gauge, 4 gauge and 8 gauge, 8 gauge remote wire inserts. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this on the side. I believe this is what I got so far. All right, so I got the amp, two stickers, user manual, and that along with the game controller. On to the next one. Also, for I don't know if I recorded the box, but here's how the box looks: little hexagon, monoblock, one channel RMS, and they got that. Oh, there, five inches. And high 11.6 inches in width. So it's not that bad. Yeah, that's five inches. Also, that's five inches. Oh, then this must be like at least four and a half. Yeah, see? Four and a half. All right. All right, so I like to save the best for last, which is the subwoofer. So after that amplifier, we're going to go ahead and check out our OFC 4 gauge. This is basically capable of 2,000 watts without its resistance. CT sounds is not about hearing sound, it's about experiencing sound. I like that quote. Let's see, copper clad aluminum, OFC. Let's see what else this bag says. Oh yeah, same quote. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this open with both of my hands so that it'd be faster. All right, so I went ahead and opened up the box or the plastic, whatever. Let's see what kind of cables it comes with. So it came with boom wire with a nice, OFC ground Looks like everything's already pre-wired too, so I don't really need to do no crimping or wiring This looks like yeah power cable Okay, this white one here looks like oh, I Forgot what that looks like but that Power cable though is looking interesting Um, so there's the wire bundle most likely it's just power ground remote and speaker wire and then it also came with some nice more connections. Let's see, we got a 
nice little CT sounds fuse holder along with the fuse in there this is way better than um, the one with the glass that breaks I've heard about it so many times with the I believe it's eight uh, eight four gauge I was watching car audio fabrication and he recommended these as far insert leads and I honestly think it's a great idea so that you don't have bare metal in your wires you can use these pure I think aluminum or steel I forgot aluminum sheet metal that and then he put it in to his four gauge then when you put it in here it has a set screw that you can go ahead and just crimp it down with he also recommended too to use a uh, to use like heat shrinks as well and tech tape make it really look more Oh, fabulous by the way these wire ferros aren't aren't included with this i just bought it separate on amazon just wanted to pitch that out there to make sure you guys don't get this and say that it didn't come with wire ferros um but that is it for the ofc four gauge wiring set also another thing i, I forgot to mention about the ct sounds amplifier is it's best it's really nice because it doesn't have the allen key like all the other amplifiers it actually uses the Philip head bit. See, as you can see, it's it makes everything way more easier in the process. Trying to instead of trying to find that special Allen key that you stored for later for something like this. So this is actually a great benefit there. And now we're about to head on and open up this big boy and review this. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take this big box out. See, look, 1001 RMS, one subwoofer, triple XL12. I've, I've searched this up on YouTube so many places, and nobody nobody's reviewing it. I mean, they are, but they're not bumping it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. And then in, in the future, when the box comes, I'm going to go ahead and get the box, install it. And then I'm going to show you guys the review. All right, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Um, I know you guys are probably skipping the video, trying to cut corners. But um, if you guys didn't cut the corner, um, let's go try and confuse the the viewers and let's go comment, comment CT baby in the comment section and uh, if, meaning you watched uh, throughout this video. But um, yeah, confuse the viewers who skip through. All right, time to cut this subwoofer open super duper carefully. We're going to do this as super duper careful as we can. The box seems pretty secure. I would like to see how they handle the inside with it. And you know what, I never use box cutters, but this is the first purchase I made for myself with like a brand new subwoofer system. And like first big purchase. I mean, not really, I bought an electric scooter before. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Dang, that's a pretty secure big basket. Check it out. All right, so we, we got the same things. Thank you for your purchase. CT sounds only. Oh wow, look, two stickers as well still. So it's nice because my car is white too, so I can put it on the window. Yeah, they look the same, just like the uh, just like the other sticker. All right, and we got mounting parameters. Box specifications, A, B, C, D, scan this. It doesn't, oh, there you go. Oh, wow, see, look at that. Another cool thing why I like this. It shows you what you can wire it to. Four ohm, two ohm, two ohm, three ohm, three, four ohm, see, so. And the power is that, so one dual voice coil over subwoofer power that one ohm load, that's how you can wire, that's, what, that's my plan right there. One ohm load, because one ohm load on this gives you a thousand watt RMS. And look at that. It shows you everything needed for this dang speaker. Bro, I'm so excited for the box to come in. Okay, and it looks like this thing came in pretty secure. So it looks like this sub is secured by a plastic. So here is my 12. Ugh. Dang, that's huge. Well, okay, I don't want to break it, so... I'm gonna go ahead and take out this protective layer. 
Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Got an extra box in here. Let's hit the sub on. Okay. So, when I first pulled the sub out, it had this on the bottom for the back, the magnet, and then on that on top of the box. And here's the subwoofer. So, I'd say it's pretty well uh, taken care of there. Like, if you order from CT Sounds, you know you're going to get your uh, subwoofer here in one piece. I like how it has the stitching here. There's no flaws in the stitching. It has a nice metallic reflective um, basket. And it has CT Sounds engraved. You know, funny stuff. Let's see how the basket looks. Alright, so it has a pretty nice glittery excursion ct sounds represented got a nice black basket right there along with that it got dual tinsel leads right over here shows you positive and negative dual tinsel leads and these here that push up pretty strong not gonna lie it's eight gauge gauge and then also got a nice shiny chrome back metal the CT triple XL on there and I like how it has more holes than that center one which means more breathing and look more vents here because you know when you power this thing through that one ohm load you're gonna get it a lot of people like to free air test these things but See, my freaking thing is so freaking stiff right now. It's like basically brand new. Um, the next video you guys are going to see after this is me bumping it. It probably won't be until a week or two, but it's going to work. It's going to work out great. Um, I just purchased it right now, a couple minutes earlier. Basically, if you buy that amp or the sub, you still get CT Sound stickers along with its user manual. I really like though, how it um, gave us the wiring diagrams. This is the best part, because you can wire it to anything you want, and it shows you what you get if you wire it to that ohm. So basically all of this, honestly, not gonna lie, it was, it was, but not as pricey. It's like 300. Um, it's gonna be four now because, um, what's it called? The box is on its way so yeah this is actually a pretty big ct sounds subwoofer it honestly feels and looks like a 13 <laughs> for or a 15 but yeah it's pretty big and i already know this thing's gonna pack a punch man best thing you can ever get i think i'm gonna have to get a second battery or whatnot but yeah thanks for watching guys stay tuned and you guys get to see it bump in my trunk all right make sure to subscribe and leave those notifications on and like the video if you guys like what you saw and if you guys like to see more peace out